leaving people. It's about the kitchen garden, Tony and Teddy. What we're doing today is we've planted some winter greens in the polytunnel. So I'm going to show you the kind of things you plant in your polytunnel through the winter to get a winter crop. So I'll give you a close look in a second. We've got gem lettuce, pak choy, Swiss chard, seedlings here. I'll just give you a closer look now. So these seedlings I planted about a month ago in um, modules. I then potted them on as they got slightly bigger. So we're Swiss chard, pak choy, and we've got gem lettuce. A quick look in the pile. As you can see, I still got a few of the tomatoes out from this side. I've got some green tomatoes on there. We'll ripen those on the windowsill. I've also got some ripe tomatoes that I'm picking as and when required. I actually used some of those for a recipe yesterday, quiche recipe. I will link that in the description. So this area had peppers in. I've cleared this and this is where we're going to pop our leafy greens to grow through the winter. And the date today is the 10th of November. I planted these about a month ago, like I say, in modules. I then potted them on. Kept on the windowsill. So what you want to do is you want to get these to be nice, strong seedlings. As you can see, some of these leaves started to yellow a bit. That's a good combat indicator that they've outgrown these pots and they're running out of nutrients in a bit of compost they've got in the pot. So we plant these in the polytunnel now. We're going to have a harvest of leafy greens then throughout the winter. Now, I didn't fill myself seed at uh, planting seeds. I should have done really. Unfortunately, I was in a bit of a rush, so I was planting them. So we're going to get these in the polytunnel now. I'll quickly show you how we're going to put these in. Now, I seem to have mislaid my dibber. So I'm just going to do with my hands. This soil is dry, so we're going to have to water these in. So all we're going to do is just out of the pot you can see it's got a really good root system well and truly outgrowing this pot and all we're going to do is just get that planted in so that is a pak choy this is a gem lettuce just a little bit of spacing between them. I've got all the space over there where the uh, tomatoes are. When they've been cleared, we will plant more over there. He's yapping away. So he's heard something. If the soil is dry, you can just literally plant these with, the, with your hands without a dibber. Now this particular plant, you can see there's two pak choy there. I am going to plant those together and see how they get on. So hit subscribe. A few weeks we'll check back on these. Okay, so that's them in. I've doubled up at this side. The spacings there are fine. So now we're going to go ahead and water these in. What I'll do is make sure I give it a really good watering in. The soil is quite dry because the peppers that were in there were harvested quite a while ago. I'm going to give them a really good soaking. Obviously, with these being in the poly tunnel, you've got to make sure you frequently water them. So you're not going to get your water from the rain. The top tip is take a watering can, fill it full of water and leave it in the polytunnel. Especially in the winter when it's really cold, this water will be the same temperature as the plants. So you're not pouring ice cold water on those plants and shocking them. So I'll fill this back up. This will be left in the polytunnel for the next time we water these in a few days time. I uh, will bring you back through the, throughout the winter. We'll do a couple of garden tours 
show you what's growing, I'll show you how these are getting on. So short video there today, just on growing your winter greens. Oh by the way, it's not too late. Middle of November now, 10th of November. If you're thinking, oh I've got no seedlings going through, it's not too late, get seedlings on now. You can still do it if you've got a poly channel. So you found that video useful, give us a big thumbs up, hit subscribe, thanks for watching, have a good day.